when she was in the workroom, she was like the only person who was not intimidated by this challenge. Everyone is standing around scratching their butts like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. This is going to be stressful. I'm scared. It's a new day in the workroom and I just got done watching the premiere of Drag Race España. My general thoughts on it, I love, love, love the workroom. I love the sound quality. I love the filter they use. Everything just looks so bright and vibrant. It's beautiful. Take notes down under. For this season of Drag Race España, I'm going to be reacting to the entire episode on my Patreon because it takes me a little bit longer to watch the entire episode. So please go over there, subscribe, and you will see all my thoughts on the entire episode. On YouTube, we're gonna have a little bit more fun. It's gonna be light. I'm going to be reviewing the outfits and giving you my opinion, my opinion, <laughs> on what I think of the outfits. This episode, we have an entrance outfit and the main stage outfit. Now let's get into it. First in the workroom, we have Arancha. She's known as the Hannah Montana, <laughs> you know, of Spain. And you can tell by her entrance outfit, she's giving very that. It reminds me of Hannah Montana. It gives me that 2000, early 2000s, I would say. Yeah, that early 2000s jean jacket moment where everything matches and there's a really colorful print, you know, very Disney. And I'm here for it, but I wish it was a little bit more elevated. I don't hate the outfit, but it just, there's no drag body underneath. There is no cinching going on. It could have been Hannah Montana, but as a drag queen and sexier. That's what it could have been. But I'm still getting that Hannah Montana vibe. So successful, you know, execution It's successful. Next up we have Sagittaria. And Sagittaria is really polished. I'm really impressed with the way she carries herself and the level of confidence she has, the level of style that she has. You can tell that she's heavily, heavily, heavily influenced by Aquaria. I even learned that I believe her actual sign, birth sign is like a Capricorn or something, but because she's such a big fan of Aquaria, she changed, she had her drag name be Sagittaria because it's close to Aquaria, Sagittarius, Aquaria, Sagittaria. I like her look. Her entrance looks beautiful. She, hair is coiffed, makeup is done right, the outfit's beautiful, she's giving you a nipple. She has the little bow and arrow. Everything is conceptualized and executed to perfection. There's nothing wrong about this outfit. She's a queen that I'm going to be looking forward to seeing on the runway every week because I think she's going to be giving me a lot of class, a lot of fashion, a point of view. And I'm excited about that. Up oh, next in the workroom, we have Ugasio. I love, 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 love the queen space. It's so talented. The face is always like a, a art piece, like a framed picture. I love it. I love the colors this queen chooses. I love the entire color palette of this entire outfit. The only thing I don't love, love, love is the shoe, but the shoe works. I would have just wanted it to be a sexier shoe, but the shoe is not the worst thing to go with this outfit. It, the shoe makes me know that she's a quirky queen. The shoe tells me that she's not too caught up in sex appeal and in, you know, a whole thing. It's like, I'm here to give a character and I'm here to entertain. I give you good looks and I have personality behind the looks. That's what the shoe tells me. So I'm not mad at the shoe. Carmen walked into the workroom and the first thing I could think of is she's a body queen. Carmen is big on body. Carmen wants you to see the body and know that she's about it right away. And that's great. I love that. I don't mind the, the material, but it comes off a little basic. A little simple, let me say simple. It comes off a little simple and it's okay for an entrance look. It's by no means bad. My only two things I have to critique with this outfit is she is going really heavy on the tanning lotion and two, I wish the wig was styled. I wish the wig was like teased a bit, curled, styled, something because the wig 
it's not giving me I spent time making sure it fits me. It's giving me it was in the bag this way when I got it and I just put it on. But she's beautiful. Puppy Poison walks in the workroom and I am confused. She walks in yodeling and I'm like, wait, I don't know of anyone in Spain yodeling. And then I'm like, is Puppy Poison's background like you know, <laughs> something else. I don't understand the choice of this look. And even if it's her background or not, I don't know. So I'll let you guys in the comments tell me why she chose this look, because I'm pretty sure somebody will know, oh, she is, you know, that's her background. That's why she was representing. If that's the case, let me know. If not, and she's uh, doing something else, let me know. <laughs> I can't wait to hear. Um, but apart from the reason why she chose this specific outfit, let's talk about the construction and the fit of this outfit. It didn't seem like it was made for her. It seemed like it was bought at a party store and she made it work for her. And it's not fitting well, so I don't like this at all. I'm not a big fan of how this looks on her body because it seems like it's not the right size, it's not cut properly for her to flatter her body. So this was a really bad choice um, with execution. Come through the queen who saves lives, killer queen. I am obsessed with this queen. I've had the opportunity to speak with her on multiple occasions and I just think she's the sweetest person ever. So please go and support her. I love this outfit. It's giving me, you know, PPE, uh, I came to, you know, resuscitate you. I love the superhero theme that's going on here. The hair is beautiful. You can tell this is not a shake and go wig. This wig was styled. Um, I'm into it. I love the color scheme. I love every, I love a lot about this. I love a lot about this look. I even love the way that the mask is bedazzled to look like, uh, you know, like a fighter. It's really good. Like this is, a plus. What is this sound effect when Dovima walked into the workroom? Okay, first of all, Dovima is stunning. Dovima is beautiful and Dovima reminds me of a bunch of queens. Some people don't like when I do it. I don't even like when I do it, but it's like hard not to compare when you've had so many queens before. And when you see one, you kind of feel a connection to another. It's like if Pearl um, Miss Fame and Violet Tchotchke had a goth, had a baby with gothy Ken doll. This is what it would look like. This is the queen. She is freaking stunning. She is very polished for 24 years old. I will give her that. I'm really loving this entire motif. It's giving body. It's giving sensuality. It's giving, I'll probably kill you. Yeah. Y'all, the drama between <laughs> Dovima and Sagittaria it's hot like it is hot i had <laughs> go to my patreon and listen to what i have to say about it and hear more about it because it's piping i live indy walks in looking like the tallest glamazonian princess there ever was uh i love the fact that she took out a boxer brief that was like the spanish flag and tossed it i thought that was like interesting her purse is very interesting too it's made from like silicone and it's the genitalia of someone who has both genitalias. I love her perspective. I love her hair. I would have cut it a little differently at the back. It looks a little straggly, but I also love the outfit and her makeup is beautiful. I think she has the right idea and she has the right point of view. It's just cleaning up a, certain, a few things here and there to like put it over the top and make it just that much more amazing. I cannot wait to see what this queen does. First of all, let's just give Drag Volcano her flowers, her roses, her props, her tens across the board right now because she looks freaking amazing. The fact that she's walking in those shoes, like it seems like when, wherever she's from, Canaries, like I guess a lot of drag queens are very over the top and very, you know, grandiose. And I'm so excited to see what she brings because this, Coming into the workroom in this outfit, this is freaking stellar. 
not a hair out of place it's amazing i don't know what else to say but it's amazing i am in love the macarena has a very interesting look i think it's really good um it's just a lot because the macarena seems short and so all these heavy bulky things on her arms and the big bow and everything it kind of condenses her even shorter but overall the garment's beautiful like the garment itself is beautiful the wig can do with some work the wig could be better but the garment is freaking stunning and i love it this week the category is rummage sale now the queens were given a bunch of garbage and they're supposed to make a beautiful garment out of it. Let's see what they did. Inti is just so statuesque and beautiful to me. I'm just mesmerized whenever I see her. Um, from the neck up, I love. Actually, from the waist up, I love. I don't know if the umbrella was necessary. I don't know if I buy the shoes with it. And from the waist down, the frilly stuff, it's not very clean. It's, I don't love the back of it because it's hanging weird off of her butt. If you see when she turns, but overall, I think it's a good look. Overall, I think it's a good look. She looks beautiful. I love what she did with the tassels in her hair and on her face. Smart. Okay, Urancha seems like she does not like to wear a body. Urancha seems like she doesn't want to put on a hip. She doesn't want to cinch her waist. She just wants to put on whatever over her boy body. And that's her style. That's what I'm getting so far. Two looks in. It's the same silhouette. It's the same skirt that goes all the way up to her navel, short. And then you have a crop top or just a blouse on top. I want, I'm for next week, I want to see something completely different. But for what it is, as a look, it's cute. I love the color blocking. It's smart. It's fashion forward. It's of the time. The wig is giving me full. It's not giving me the same wig I got in the workroom. I like the evolution of this. I love the, you know, the bubble gun. That's cute. It's very playful. It lends itself to her whole I'm Hannah Montana. And that youthful girl playing thing. It lends itself to that. So I'm really enjoying this. Ugasio has a point of view. And I love, love, love this outfit. I love the color scheme. I love the face paint. She's sad. I love the garment. The only thing I don't love is the back of... When she turns around, you see the back of her head. Where the garment is a little weird there. I can overlook it. I can overlook that. I think the outfit itself is beautiful. The paint job is great. The way she sells it on the runway is amazing. I'm wondering if we're going to get that same specific type of makeup for the entire season, or we're gonna see different forms of makeup from Ogasio. We'll see. First of all, she looks amazing. Killer Queen looks killer. I love the color scheme. I love the guard. Like it's all, and when she was in the workroom, she was like the only person who was not intimidated by this challenge. Everyone is standing around scratching their butts like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. This is going to be stressful. I'm scared. Meanwhile, Killer Queen was like cutting fabric, cutting patterns, going through the sewing machine like a pro. Like, I know what I'm doing and I know what I want this to look like. I have my vision and I'm really proud of the way she executed it because this could have easily looked bad. But she was so smart with the placement of the flowers, placement of the petals on the the train the train is hitting the floor the train is lined i love that she gave the green hair to just continue with this entire color blocking scheme this is beautiful this is beautiful and one of my favorite outfits so far oh sagittaria is serving she is serving this is very fashion forward is it like the most wearable thing ever no it's not obviously but she's giving you this 60s housewife hair which i think is so beautiful and it's so far apart in like contrast to this space agey modern look she's going for you know like it's judy jetson meets i don't even know i love this i think it's beautiful it's not a lot of clothes it's not a lot of 
garment, but it works. It's smart, it's fashion forward, and as I said, she has a point of view, and she's smart, and she has taste. We're gonna be seeing a lot of this from her, I can see it. This is a little bit sad. The Macarena is not serving. I don't love the garment. You have the ducky in your hand, you have the blow up thingy, blow up flamingo on your shoulder. They're, the hemline is all over the place. The colors are beautiful, they're bright, they're pretty. It's the execution that really messed with her and the choice to like throw a bunch of stuff on her shoulder. She didn't need that. Uh, maybe she's a campy queen and this is like a choice, but it wasn't necessary and I think it hurt her. The bottom half of the garment is just very messy and very choppy. I don't even understand why the shoes, why this specific shoe was chosen for this specific dress. And I think the makeup is beautiful. The makeup is stunning, by the way. Um, and I don't mind the hair with it. I don't mind it at all. It's just the bottom half of the dress that's like so wild. And the shoulder piece, which is very unnecessary. Simple choices. It's simple, simple little choices that if they were made, it would have made the world of a difference. Dovima. This outfit kind of reminds me of something Aquaria wore on her season. I'll probably put the photo here so we can see what I'm talking about. Somewhere. <laughs> I don't hate this. It's very simple. It's very simple and I think it could have had a bigger effect if the mesh that we're seeing all over her body was more visible. The mesh from afar it looks like it doesn't even exist. But if maybe she doubled the mesh, we would have seen the mesh more and that would have tied it together more. Or if she did something entirely different. It's a simple outfit that could have had a huge impact if executed right. I like it, but I don't know if I love it because it just feels half done. If you get what I mean, um, y'all will let me know what you think in the comments. I'll wait for that. Wow. Okay, so, so far, this is my least favorite outfit that has touched the runway. Poopy Poison, I was expecting, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. I don't know where to look because there's just so much going on. My eyes are like, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? There's a lot of color going on. There's a lot of textures going on. It feels like she just threw a bunch of different fabric over her and put a big blue belt around it and walked out on stage. It's just not a lot of thought. Doesn't It doesn't feel like a lot of thought was put into this. I'm very disappointed in this outfit. It's not great. The hair that was chosen to wear with it's not great. The shoes are a choice. You're walking out with a cleaning tool. I get being campy, but it crosses a line into like not even campy anymore, but a little tacky. It's just I would have loved something different. I would have loved to see her elevate herself in a different way. Oh well. Carmen looks amazing. Carmen looks freaking stunning. Beautiful face. The wig is way better than the wig she had on in the workroom. I'm happy. I love this blue outfit from head to toe. Everything is great. I just don't love that on the side view when she's walking on the stage, you can see the inside of the bra that she just, you know, stapled the material out. You can see the red bra that she used to put the material over. That's it. It's like that camera angle was shady. <laughs> it's not a thing I'm like blaming her for. I think this looks amazing. I even love how it's styled with the bag and I love that she got a black shoe instead of like a blue shoe or something to make it too matchy matchy. I think it was a very smart move on Carmen's part. Okay, Drag Volcano, you're that girl. Like you and these, you and these shoes, these shoes are amazing. They are freaking amazing. I love her shoes. Again, very similar shoe to what she wore in the workroom. She has a theme going on. The outfit is a lot of silver, and so it doesn't really lend itself to being very multi-dimensional, 
but I think it's really nice. I'm not a big fan of how the panties are cut right at the crotch. It's a little bit too wide at the crotch, but I love how high it goes. Hair and makeup, fabulous. I love the purple accents on the outfit because too many, too much silver kind of looks like a disco ball. So adding the pops of color in her face and on the outfit really elevated it for me. The best looks of the week for me would have had to be Sagittaria, Carmen, and Killer Queen. I really loved those looks. And maybe Ugasio, I'd put her in there as well. But if I had to pick one for my mo my favorite, like most high fashion look of the night, I'd have given it to Sagittaria. It was conceptual, it was timeless, it was well thought out from head to toe. It was beautiful. I loved Sagittarius' look. The winner of this week's episode is Ugasio, and I am not mad at it because Ugasio looks beautiful, and that's it. She looks beautiful. She did not look bad at all. All in all, this was an amazing first episode. I really enjoyed this premiere episode of Drag Race España. Please come back next week. Give them your support. Go watch the show. I know it's in Spanish, but you can put on your closed captioning the same way I did. It's beautiful. The girls are fun. The set's amazing. The stage is huge. I promise you'll have a lot of fun watching them. And come back here and see my reaction to their outfits. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go over to my Patreon for the full video of me reacting to the episode and a lot more content. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification bell. Until next time. Bye. Hey, beautiful humans. Have so much more content. Come on, watch my shit. <laughs>